Hello, today's video is a simple guide on setting up birdhouses. This is mainly geared towards ironmen, but mains can also follow along and just buy certain things off the GE. Birdhouses are really good passive hunter XP and give you a ton of seeds and nest for brews. They're a great way to get tree seeds on an iron man. And also supply rings, sometimes clue scrolls, and colored eggs if you're interested in the evil chicken outfit, or just want some extra prayer XP. To start making birdhouses, you need level 5 crafting and hunter and access to Fossil Island. If you're an Iron Man, you'll also need 25 construction to make a crafting table 2 in your house, and 8 crafting to make clockworks. First, you'll want to take 4 steel bars to your crafting table and make them into clockworks, and you won't have to worry about making clockworks again after this. Use 4 logs on your clockworks to make birdhouses. You need a hammer and chisel for this. The higher your crafting and hunter levels, the higher tier logs you can use, which will get you more nests when you loot them. Ideally, you want to have access to dig site pendants as well, otherwise I'd recommend just waiting to do birdhouses once you have them unlocked. For dig site pendants, you need 49 magic and need to find the necklace from cleaning finds in the Varak Museum. After that, you can make dig site pendants yourself and use them to teleport to Fossil Island. Before you start birdhouse runs, there is one more thing I recommend doing, which is unlocking all of the mush trees. First is the house on the hill mush tree. Here's how to get to it. Once you're here, all you need to do is click on the mush tree to unlock it. While you're here, take your dig site pendant to the strange machine and this will give you a teleport option directly to this area instead of just the dig site. There are two other mush trees you need to unlock for birdhouses, and while you're traveling there, you might as well bring your birdhouse supplies. Bring your four completed birdhouses and a hammer and chisel and 40 hop seeds. You use 10 seeds per birdhouse except for wild blood seeds, which you only need 5 of. You can also use herb seeds for this, but I wouldn't recommend it. You can buy hop seeds from any seed shop or get them from master farmers or seed stalls. Once you're here, set your birdhouses up and fill them with seeds. Click the mush tree to unlock it. Here's how to get to the Mushroom Meadow. Unlock the mush tree and set up your birdhouse in the northern spot. And you'll have to run further south to get the last birdhouse. Now you just do something else for 50 minutes until your birdhouses are done. If you play on Runelight, you can use the Time Tracker plugin to see when your birdhouses are done and optionally have it notify you. Once the 50 minutes are up, grab out some seeds, your dig site pendant, hammer, chisel, and four logs. Teleport to Fossil Island and use the mush tree to Verdant Valley. Click on your birdhouses to loot them and you'll get your clockwork back. Use the clockwork on a log to make another birdhouse and set it up the same way you did last time. Then travel to Mushroom Meadow and repeat. 
It's really simple and really useful. You'll never regret doing your birdhouse runs. Just a couple of tips. You can wear a strong rabbit foot while looting birdhouses to give you an increased chance of egg and ring nests, and decreased chance of empty nests. Ruby necklaces you can get from Temporos or the Ham Store Room. Otherwise, you can make them yourself with 40 crafting. You can buy rubies from a few gym shops, or get rubies from the Pinball Random Event, the Ham Store Room, or Earth Implings. That's all for the video. I hope this helped. Get out there and do your birdhouse house runs. They're important. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.